Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Luke DeDuke. Hope you're having a good day and I hope you enjoy this video. In this video, I will show you some of my RC setups, tracks that I use for racing, bashing, crawling, and some of my plans for the future. So let's get started. As a kid, I've always wanted to have an RC track outside my house. And five years ago, when I moved into our place, I immediately got to work. The first track setup I will show you is perfect for 1 12th scale or smaller. I began by cutting down brush, shoveling dirt, and leveling the ground. I used the dirt around the garage that I kept cutting back. And let me tell you, it was a pain shoveling because there's so many rocks, so many roots from trees. It took forever. But as you can see, the track was getting there. I created a sign. I used stencils made by Barton Brook Land Management. I added some lights for some night racing. And the following year, we cut down some larger trees and was able to rent a stump removal to make it level to the ground. And let me tell you, this stump removal was a beast. It was fun to use. Near the end of the summer, we finished leveling with some dirt clay mix, me and my son Ryan, and pretty much got to track where it is today. Yes, dirt! I keep it maintained in the fall and the winter by blowing leaves and snow blowing the snow. Here is the current status of this track. Kind of keep it open so the kids can ride their power wheels. Made uh, fresh dirt on the track. But right now it's kind of just come out here and just drive around. If you noticed over there, I took the garden out so we could drive pretty much right around the trees over there. Now the second track is down back. This I eventually want to make into a one-tenth scale track with jumps, doubles, loops, you name it. We started by cutting down all of the larger trees. My dad and his friend helped and they helped weed whack all of the brush. There was so much brush, so many down dead trees, it took the entire summer to clean up. We got most of it cleaned up, but there was one big pile left that I had to hire someone with an excavator so they could clear it and clean it and level it up to the best they could.
most of the pile was actually really good dirt, so I was pretty happy with that. I had to get some more dirt because there was some holes in one of the corners of the track needed definitely to be filled in, so we ordered some more dirt. I had a friend come over with a skid steer and leveled that the best they could too. Here's the status of the track down here. Kind of cleared it off. I got a dirt pile there that I'm leveling some of the dirt down around the creek. I got some brush I need to take care of. I cut these trees because they, they broke from the snow. Keep it mowed, keep it weed whacked, right down. Now, some future ideas. I have almost four acres of land and I'm exploring and cleaning it up every year. And I just have ideas that I want to do. And uh, one of the ideas in this section is to have like a mud pit to drive monster trucks in. So I did some clearing out. I want to throw some more dirt in there, make it muddy, and have a little competition. This next idea and I'm actually working pretty hard on it recently because I mean, my kids like to crawl and I have a lot of friends that like to crawl, is making a crawler track on this side hill. I have tons of items. I mean, I have old ladders, tons of rocks. I have like an old satellite from my parents' house. Just random stuff that I want to put in there to make on the RC crawler track. And I'm hoping to have that finished by the end of next year. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will definitely provide a update here in the next few years on the status on the setups. So look forward to that. Again, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the share button, and comment below on your ideas for me. Or if you have tracks, send them to me. All right. Take care and best wishes. Thank you.